Hi, my name is Jamal Sharif and I am an interpretive park ranger at the Indiana Dunes National Park. I was born in San Diego, California, but I live mostly in Hammond, Indiana. I have always felt I had a definite passion for the outdoors, life sciences, and nature conservation in general. As a park ranger, I handle interactions with the public like providing information to our park visitors, helping with the public programs we run, and doing public outreach to neighboring cities. During my undergrad in biology at Purdue Northwest, I discovered the opportunities provided by the Pathways program. I decided to apply and well, here we are. So what exactly is the Pathways program? Well, it's basically a program built for college students to be able to access jobs at the National Park Service. Since minorities encompass roughly 20% of the Park Service employee population, I know it isn't all that common for people to see Black Park Rangers when visiting the national parks. Working for the Indiana Dunes, I bring the natural wonders of our park and science to the youth of our nation's underrepresented groups. Getting the opportunity to wear the NPS uniform as a black man has allowed me to not only show the youth that as Americans, these natural marvels are also ours to appreciate, but we too can help preserve these natural lands and create change for future generations. During my time working at the Indiana Dunes, I got to be part of various programs at the park, including research projects we did with iSwoop. Now, iSwoop is a program for interpretive park rangers that helps us take part in ongoing scientific research within the national parks and helps provide us with accurate information regarding research in our parks. Afterwards, we pass it on to the public by telling stories about these researchers and sharing some of these visualizations scientists use to understand the natural world. Working on one of these projects is actually when I realized I wanted to go into research and become a scientist. I had a really cool mentor here, Dr. Desiree Robertson Thompson, and she introduced me to the realm of science, especially the process of research and how to conduct an ecological study. Along with my Purdue Northwest professor, Dr. Young Choi and two other undergraduates, we worked on a plant diversity survey of these vernal pool associated plant communities. Basically, we took a miniature catalog of these plant communities immediately surrounding these wetlands to document species as big as adult red maple trees and as small as some of our native grasses. When I wasn't swatting away flies or wiping sweat during my breaks in the field, I wondered about what set of interactions could be going on within these habitats, not only between the organisms we could see, but the ones we couldn't easily see as well. Sometimes a vernal pool isn't much bigger than a puddle you'd find out in your backyard or in a nearby park, but the lack of their presence could be detrimental for organisms that need them to be able to grow from tadpoles to frogs and salamanders, or even from larvae to zooplankton. For us to know if these habitats are in danger or will be in danger in the future, it requires keeping track of what is happening, some careful analysis, and maybe even getting our hands a little dirty to really get a good look. So through that, being able to go out with scientists and being able to see what they were doing firsthand really provided me the insights that made me feel like I too wanted to be a scientist. I would definitely say that working at the Indiana Dunes National Park has changed my life and really helped me make the decision on what I want to do after my bachelor's. Hopefully my experiences help you take your first steps into nature conservation and helping us share these wonders with others. In the description, you can find more information about these programs and how you can get involved at a national park near you.